Hello, everybody, and welcome to Boston, the site of this year's Patriot League Softball Championship. With Craig White, I'm John Avino, and we're happy to have you along here on what should be a beautiful weekend in Boston. Finally, the weather has turned the corner, and it is in the 70s, or going to be in the 70s, Craig, throughout this weekend. We're excited for what should be a great field. It's the same four teams that were in the field here last year as well. The contact numbers are down this year. Rely more on doubles and home runs. Boaz starts with the first strikeout of the weekend. 3-2. Swing Ooh. and a miss. Farrow was way out ahead of that one. She guessed fastball, and Boaz pulled the string out from underneath. No doubt about it. That's Boaz's best pitch. Those are the three years they've gone to the NCAA tournament as well. Swing and a miss. What a first inning for Allison Boaz. She strikes out the side to start off things here at the Patriot League Softball Championship. Boston University coming to bat for the first time. Big spot for Kaitlin Coker. Line drive, and it gets through for a base hit. Here comes Ware to Leipner. The throw is not in time, and BU's on the board first. Both runners are going to move up after the throw home. Caitlin Coker with an RBI knock. Swings, line to second. There's one, and she steps on the bag. Double play. Oh, my goodness, what a job. Colgate. Gets a line drive to second, and Herb steps on the bag to erase the bases loaded. It's for Fusco. Fusco up the middle. It's a base hit. It takes a funky bounce on Harita. Whalen will score, and the game is tied. Kara Fusco has both Colgate hits, and now it's 1-1 here in the top of the fourth. Variety of ways Colgate can score here. Livesay is ahead 2-0. She swings and pops this one to deep center field. Harita's going to get behind it. Gets a running start. Here's the throw home. It comes up the first baseline. Cut off. They throw back to second, and they do get Ludwig trying to dive back in. But Colgate takes the lead on the sacrifice fly. They lead 2-1. to one. Boaz trying to put away Nitka. On the ground, softly to second. Where to Leitner does a good job even with the base runner crossing in front of her to stick with it, and that ends the inning. But BU trailing 2-1 as we head to the bottom half, the seventh. Do they have at least one run in them? We'll find out on the other side. Led the league in walks. 1-2. Line in the left. It's a base hit. Coker will stop at second after a big turn. The Terriers aren't done yet here today. They've got runners on first and second. 2-2 from Miskin. Rounded up the middle to short. Carney tried to step on the bag before she had the ball. Here comes Coker, and the game is tied. Oh, boy. That could have been a game-ending double play. And Carney, I think, sensed that, was trying to step on the bag as she fielded it and bobbled it out of her glove. Everybody's safe, and we're tied. A 1-2. Grounded up the middle. And it's off the glove of Herbst in the center. Williams will score, and the Terriers walk it off in game one. The Raiders had a chance to close it out, and their defense abandoned them here in the seventh. The Terriers push across two runs and win it in dramatic fashion, and they preserve they are opening round game and opening round status. Boy, it were close to having a first round upset there, but the Terriers are going to move on to game 